Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in Ithaca, New York. I practice handles criminal defense and DWI defense in the upstate region of New York, the Finger Lakes. Today, I want to talk to you about the 45-day rule and why timelines or deadlines are so crucial in criminal cases. I just read through a 2018 case that happened last month, and the first, the first attorney never filed any motions. Then they hired a new attorney, and they waited a long time to file motions. Well, what ended up happening and this is a, a, a very, really vague rule, but understand, if you snooze, you lose. In other words, since the attorneys didn't file the motions, they didn't file any motions to suppress any of the evidence, the judge, because they couldn't give any good cause why they waited for 90 days, 140 days, they couldn't give any reasons why they waited so long, they weren't allowed to file any motions to suppress any of the evidence in the case. And of course, the state won that case. So there wasn't even a chance that they were going to have a defense on the case because they waited too long. They sat on their hands. You know, the old expression, if you snooze, you lose. Well, there's a 45-day rule, and the rule states this. You have 45 days from the date that you're arraigned with counsel. Now, you might be arraigned or have your first appearance in court without having an attorney there. But once you have an attorney there by your side, you have 40 five days to file what's called an omnibus motion. That means that all the motions they want filed have to happen within that 45-day time frame. In my mind, the clock starts to tick at that arraignment or even before that arraignment, I want to get discovery. So we give over to the prosecutor a demand for discovery and then we make a decision after looking over discovery, even before looking over discovery, is this a case that we're going to challenge everything? If we have a case that there's challenges, we have a refusal case, that's definitely a challenge case, want to file a motion right away. That 45-day timeline is, start, is there, and I want to file all our motions to suppress as much evidence as possible in the case, or to at least challenge the evidence and have the judge grant us a hearing. A hearing where they're going to bring in the police officers, and it gives us a chance to challenge cross-examine the police officers on everything they did, how they stopped the car, or if they even stopped the car, if they came to an accident scene, and then how they proceeded to do their test or to make their decision to make an arrest. I want to evaluate, examine, cross-examine all of that evidence and see if we can keep some of it out. Let's keep some of it out of having a trial. So, 45-day rule means you have 45 days from the date of arraignment with counsel to file motions to suppress evidence. If you have a question about your criminal case in the upstate region of New York, these are the types of cases that we handle. Either give us a call, shoot us an email, or fill the form on our website. Be more than happy to go over your case and to see what your options are. And thanks for watching this video.